everyone, it's Phil London and I'm here today to bring you another Pilates level two class. Today we are going to be using a mini ball. You can grab a dish towel or a hand towel from your house and then if you have a band, it's optional. All props are actually optional and if we do a ball variation and you don't have a mini ball, you can go ahead and lie flat down on your mat. I'll be giving you modifications along the way. If you're new to Pilates, visit my showcase. I have beginner level classes from the beginning of quarantine that you can take and it will help prepare you for a workout like we're gonna do today. So again, if you have a mini ball, grab it, a bolster, maybe even a rolled up towel might work for some of the variations. So I'll allow you to go run and grab those things now. And if not, like I said, it can just be mat work, just flat on your back, and you can go ahead and do whatever exercises feel right to you. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna grab the mini ball, and we're gonna start with an exercise called breathing, a Pilates principle. We're gonna inhale, inhale sit up really tall. On an exhale, we're gonna nod our chin, curl and flex, and just round our body over our thighs. Here, we're gonna take a nice big inhale. Breathing wide in through the rib cage, making sure those arms are nice and straight. On an exhale, we're gonna blow out through our mouth like we're blowing through us. Take a nice big inhale. And exhale, just thinking about scooping out those abdominals and stretching into the back. If you've been shoveling, if you've been sitting a lot on Zoom calls, this can help stretch out your thoracic spine. We're gonna take an inhale to breathe in, nice and straight arms on the exhale. Articulate your seated spine up nice and tall. And on the inhale, breathe in. Make sure you have enough room to roll down to your mat. On an exhale, we're gonna roll down all the way to the mat. Once you're down on the mat, feel where you are comfortable in the middle of your mat. We're gonna relax our shoulders back and down, and we're gonna hold the mini ball straight up over chest height. If you don't have a mini ball, you can use a towel or nothing at all. You can always have your hands down by your sides. So we're gonna inhale, breathe in. We're gonna exhale another Pilates principles, imprint in neutral. We're gonna rock our pelvis into an imprinted spine. We're gonna press our low back into the mat. While we do that, we're gonna draw up on our pelvic floor. We're gonna inhale, return the pelvis to neutral. Feels like a really nice stretch to the low back and gently rock your pelvis into an imprint, making sure that your abdominals do all of this work and not bearing down on your glutes and squeezing them. And then return back to neutral. Relax the shoulders back and down. We're gonna inhale through the nose, we're gonna exhale, gently rock your pelvis into a gentle imprint. Hold and maintain that imprint. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, bring your right leg and then your left leg into tabletop. Still lightly squeezing the mini ball. And again, hands can be down by your sides or pulling outward on a towel or a band. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let's tap our right heel down. Inhale, return back to lift. Exhale, let's tap our left heel down. Inhale to lift. Let's tap our right heel. Inhale to lift. Let's tap our left heel. Good, let's continue to alternate and let's reach our arms. When we tap our right, let's reach overhead and draw back in. And let's tap, exhale, overhead, reach. Good, continue. Let's do one more on each side with the reach. And good. Now let's hold our arms over by the hairline. And we did this a couple weeks ago in another workout. Hold there and maintain. And let's do two more on each side tapping. This would be your hardest level. So if you needed to do a earlier variation where your arms are down by your sides or over your chest, you can tap your left. Let's do one more on each side with your arms overhead. It's gonna be just a lot harder. Tap and lift. And last one, tap and lift. Good. We're gonna bring the arms back to chest height. Keep those legs in tabletop. Make sure we're maintaining our imprint. Inhale through the nose. 
and exhale, return your feet one at a time back down to your mat. You want to make sure your feet are hip width distance apart. We can take our mini ball. This is where it could be a bolster, a towel, or a small foam roller between your thighs, as well as a mini circle, a fitness circle. Roll the shoulders back and down. We're going to go into hip rolls next. We're going to add in some feet variations. I call it footwork. We're going to inhale through the nose. We're going to exhale, roll through an imprint, squeeze your glutes, roll your hips off the mat into your bridge and gently squeeze whatever tool is between your thighs or nothing at all. Inhale and on the exhale, roll back down through each articulation of the spine through to your neutral. And if you are tight in your low back, this will loosen up the entire spine. We're going to do that again. Roll through an imprint, squeeze your glutes, roll your hips off the mat into your bridge. Inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to roll back down through each articulation all the way through to your neutral pelvis. Two more times. We're going to add in some footwork. Roll through an imprint. Squeeze your glutes. Roll your hips off the mat into your bridge. Staying here this time. Raise your heels in space. And then roll your heels back down. And then inhale. Stay at the top of this hip roll. And then roll the spine down. Let's do that again. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, roll through an imprint, squeeze your glutes, roll your hips off the mat into your bridge, squeeze that mini ball. We're going to inhale, lift the heels in space. We're going to exhale, roll those heels back down to the earth. Inhale through the nose and exhale, roll the spine back down. This time, we're going to stay up and do a couple of extra heel raises. If you want more challenge, raise your arms to the ceiling. Inhale. On an exhale, roll through an imprint, squeeze your glutes, roll your hips off the mat into your bridge. We're going to inhale, lift the heels, and exhale, lower the heels. We're going to do it again. Inhale, lift the heels, and exhale, press the heels down. Two more. Inhale, lift the heels, and exhale, press the heels. One more time. Inhale, lift the heels, and exhale, press the heels. Inhale, stay. Pulse up your hips, eight, exhale, seven, six, arms can be down by your sides, four, exhale, three, two, and one. Inhale, stay here at the top of this move, and on the exhale, roll back down through each articulation all the way through to your neutral pelvis. Rest your arms down by your sides for the next hip roll variation. And I'm going to sneak in an extra hip roll variation because everyone is telling me how tight they are in their backs from shuffling. We're going to inhale, prepare. We're going to exhale, roll through an imprint. Squeeze your glutes, roll your hips off the mat into your bridge. Stabilize in your core. Firmly press your left leg down. And on the exhalation, straighten your right knee. Very important not to hip flex, but just straighten your right knee out. Firmly straighten and squeeze. And then toe, ball, heel, back down. Let's firmly shift and press your right and extend your left knee on an exhalation. <sighs> Inhale, return toe, ball, heel, back down. Three more times each side. We're going to exhale as we reach, stabilizing, not dropping the hips. Inhale as we toe, ball, heel, back down. We're going to exhale as we, we firmly press and then exhale the knee and then inhale, toe, ball, heel, back down. Two more each side. Exhale your right. Inhale, toe, ball, heel, back down. Exhale your left. Inhale, toe, ball, heel, back down. If you need a break, you can always drop your hips one more time. Exhale, right. Toe, ball, heel. Notice the hands are down here to help you stabilize. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, left, always firmly pressing, then extending, and then toe, ball, heel, back down. If you need a break, please roll your spine down. Otherwise, we're going to pulse up again. Exhale, pulse eight. Exhale, seven. Squeeze and lift and pulse. Breathe at four and three. You're feeling that inner thigh connection and one. Stay here on the inhale. And on the exhale, roll that spine all the way down. Shoulders back and down. Beautiful job. Now we're going to straighten out our legs. Grab that mini ball, towel, whatever your prop is or nothing. We're going to do two roll-ups. I really want you to straighten out those knees. Firmly straighten. Inhale, arms over chest tight. 
not chin, curl, flex. Roll up, rounded shape for your feet. If you need to do a half roll up, you just don't roll off the mat. Inhale, start rolling back. And exhale, finish rolling down. Excellent. One more time. Half roll up is optional. Nod chin, curl, flex. You'd stop here if you can't roll all the way up or continue on towards your feet. Inhale, start rolling back and exhale. Finish rolling down through each articulation all the way through to your neutral. Nice job. From here, we're gonna flip over onto the belly and we're gonna warm up your back. So first, we're gonna have the mini ball ahead of us. And again, you could just use the floor and no prop at all. Your arms are gonna be on the top of the ball. Make sure not to break the wrist, look straight down. We're gonna start by just inhaling, bringing that object towards the crown of the head, just to get some shoulder girdle mobility. We're gonna draw our scapula down the back on the exhale, I'm going to have you press the arms away. And if you don't have the ball, you can just pull and then stretch out with your arms hovered. Inhale and exhale, press it away. Keep very low and close to the ground. Two more. Inhale, pull that object to the crown of your head. And exhale, press it away. One more time. Inhale, pull. And exhale, press it away. Excellent. So we got some shoulder girdle mobility. We're going to lightly extend the spine. Let's get the upper body going. Don't come up too high. We're not warmed up enough for super high extension in my opinion. And exhale, lengthen it back down while you lightly press into the ball or your device, your object, and let the shoulders kind of stretch upward. Inhale, glide the shoulders down first and then hover on the inhale. And on the exhale, Lengthen it away. I'm stretching it out. Excellent. We can push ourselves up and we're going to go into hip rocking, which I do every week. If you have the mini ball, you're going to put it between your thighs. If you don't, you'll use nothing. That's okay. You're going to have your shoulders behind your wrist. So wrist forward of the shoulders. And when you go into position number one, you're going to come into a gentle extension. That is also optional. You're going to pick up your abs flat back, press through the lats to get a nice stretch back. Good. And then we're going to pull it forward again, go into extension, relax the shoulders back and down, hip rocking. This is honestly, it's where it's at. Every time I do this, I say, why don't I do this more often? It is so comfortable for the back. And if you've had old back injuries, it is a, a really soft way to extend the spine. Pulling in the abs and pressing back. And if you have had a back injury, it is a great way to massage your discs back into the spinal column in between each vertebrae. And picking up the abs and pressing it back. Beautiful. We're going to transition into a bit of a stretch, which is a dolphin downward facing dog. We're going to press back and I'd like you to just softly bend both elbows to the mat. Once there, curl the toes under and then pick your hips up. While you pick your hips up, you're pressing your heels down towards the earth as best as you can. Relaxing the shoulders back and down. I like a nice wide position through the shoulders here and I don't clasp my hands together above my head. And then slowly I'm gonna drop to my knees here. If you need to tighten this move, bring your knees in just a few inches, and then inhale, prepare, and we're gonna do it again. Exhale, dolphin, downward facing dog. It is just what I call it uh, in yoga classes. It might be called something different. I have been trained in yoga, but I am not an expert. Relax the shoulders back and down. Feel that scapula start to strengthen, the shoulder girdle strengthen, and then slowly drop those knees back down. Push up with both arms at the same time if you can, and then push back all the way into your child's pose. In your child's pose with the mini ball, you're resting your body on the mini ball and hold. We're relaxing the shoulders back and down. We're gonna do rolling hills, roll all the way up to the fingertips like Beethoven the fifth, and then rest your heels down and press your heel of the hands towards the opposite sides of the room like stop. 
in the name of love. Really press those heels if you wanted someone to say stop, okay? And then roll up again into Beethoven the fifth, really stretching underneath the armpit and in through the latissimus dorsi, your lats. And then press the heel, the hands down, spread the fingers up nice and wide. Try to get the entire wrist to elbow down on the mat here with straight elbows. And then again, one more time, Beethoven the fifth, da, 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 and then press it back down. Stop in the name of love. Hold here. Take a nice big inhale. Nice big exhale. And we're going to roll out of it one vertebrae at a time. All right, we're going to do some side lying, some pretty cool variations in my opinion. We're going to go all the way down to the side and we're gonna place our top knee. This is where I mentioned a bolster, a bunch of pillows might work for this, a foam roller, but this is also a very inexpensive item that you can get. Bottom ribs are lifted off the mat, so a mini ball would be ideal. I would definitely prop this leg up as opposed to letting the hips rotate and pulling and stretching at the low back. So I would definitely use some type of prop so as we're getting into this position, I'll give you a moment to get a prop that might be that high. If you don't have one today, it is okay. Just keep that knee off the ground. Don't let it rotate all the way to the ground. All right, so we're here. We're gonna be working stability from the hip to the knee to the ankle. We're watching the foot doesn't fall. We're watching the hip doesn't um, come out of placement, but we will be doing some mobility at the hips. Right now, our hips are squared and forward, however, a skewer from the top hip to the bottom hip. Now, what I love about this exercise is isometrically pressing down into the ball and pushing this knee into the ball as I'm gonna lift my bottom leg and then lower back down. This is a repeat from a mini ball variation that I have in a video from years ago. It's actually my highest viewed YouTube video to date. We're gonna lightly press down and you're gonna pick up your inner thigh. So as you're contracting your inner thigh on the top and stabilizing through that core anti-rotation, that means not rotating, we're actually working the inner thigh bottom leg straight as well. And then lower back down. If you have been working out with me forever and you wanna throw on your ankle weights because you have them at home, you could have your ankle weights on. Go do that quickly if you want to or the next time when you turn on this video. Lightly press and lift. Good. And we're gonna continue. Lightly press down on that top leg, which I can feel all around my top leg, and then lift, okay? Now we're gonna add on some rotation. So I want you to inhale, let your body rotate on the ball, on the object, that pillow, that towel, that foam roller. Exhale, pull it back to center, press into the ball, and now add the inner thigh in, okay? This arm, like where should it be? It could be a kickstand, it can be here, it can be in space, it can move a little bit. You can hold it out in front of you. Let's rotate, that would be harder. If you need your kickstand, please do. And then draw it back to center through hip rotation backwards and press through the ball lightly on the top, inner thigh lifts up. I like a foot flex so that we don't sickle our foot, okay? Let's do two more. We're gonna rotate and center lift and lower. We're gonna rotate and center and lift and lower. Nice job. Now, if you wanna make this part a little harder, we're just gonna work on that rotation for four more. We're gonna inhale, rotate, exhale, use your obliques and your multifidi to roll you back to center. Bottom obliques, multifidi, rolling you back to center. Three more. Inhale, let that body rotate a little bit. Exhale, remember kickstand can be here. It's advanced to bring that arm up. One more time, inhale. Exhale, but I'm using my abs to bring me back to center. Inhale. And exhale. Nice job. That should feel gentle but very targeted and so good for your obliques. Now putting that mini ball or object or nothing in between the feet, we're gonna use our kickstand hand. We're gonna exhale, lift the legs and lower back down. Exhale, lift and then lower back down. We're gonna do two more, exhale, lift, 
Lower back down, exhale, lift, and lower back down. Now, the advance is to drag yourself up and reach for your feet. I'm going to give you that option where you can continue four more to ready. We're going to exhale, side, try to keep it straight, and then really wiggle that balance. If you need your kickstand hand, I'll show you what it will look like way more stable. Oh my gosh. And exhale, lower back down. It's up to you. Two more. Lengthen as we lift both sides of the torso, legs and upper, and lower back down. We're going to do one more time. Inhale. And remember, you could have stayed down the whole time and just done the second part of the variation with just the legs. Excellent. Stabilizing the core, but rolling to your belly. Keeping that mini ball if you can. Wiggle those feet to the floor. Squeeze it gently. Inhale, I'd like you to press all the way up this time. And exhale, I want you to lower it back down. And let's do one more. Inhale as we lightly extend the spine, knowing that you can always stay in sphinx if you need to. If you have full range of motion, you can go into full extension. Okay, you can keep your feet laterally, rotated, or parallel, whatever's more comfortable. Excellent. Now from here, we're gonna press ourselves back into a quick child's pose. This time, you're sitting on your ball. Earlier it was between your thighs, you were resting on the ball. Now you're sitting between it, stretch it out and down. Let's come up halfway. Nice flat back. Let's stretch it down one more time. Good. We're still in our warm-up phase, so I do a lot of mobility stretching. Roll out of it one vertebrae at a time through each articulation all the way through to your neutral. So we're doing a little bit of work and a little bit of flexibility throughout the warm-up, which we're still currently in. So let's switch our sides. We're going to take our mini ball underneath our top leg. And we're going to do all those variations on the other side. We had three variations. Remember all the cueing. Your bolster, your prop is here. You're not letting your hips rotate. If you do not have a prop, you're not resting your knee on the ground. This foot is elevated. You want to be a skewer at the moment. You want to be a skewer at the moment with your hip over hip. My right hip is directly over my left hip like I skewered it into the floor. Relax the shoulders back and down. All right, so let's get started. The first variation, flex the bottom foot and as we press into the ball here, push, don't let this foot drop. We're gonna lift the bottom leg and then lower back down. We're gonna do that again. Remember your hand could be here in front of the belly, kickstand down by your side. If you want it up the whole time, you can. Those of you who take my workouts, you usually turn them on a couple of times. So next time, if you want to add your arm in early on both sides, you can. And lower back down. Just know that I am pressing this knee down and lifting the other leg up simultaneously. Roll the shoulders back and down. Ribs are in. Bottom ribs are lifted off the mat. I always make sure there's a little bit of side rib cage connection here. All right. Let's add on. Okay. Let's rotate and bring it back to center and then simultaneously press and lift, okay? That's a combo move. Came, came actually early, the combo, in this variation. Rotate, okay, bring it back to center using those obliques. Press down, pick up that bottom leg. Two more times, should be softening your lower back, especially if you were shuffling. Roll the shoulder and pull and exhale. I mean, if you go deep, if you pay attention, you will feel deep work. We rotate and lean gently, lightly press into, pull back, just trying to put your hands on your hip and rotate the shoulder forward and exhale simultaneously, push, okay? Then we added in that advanced option with the arm here or still your kickstand hand. We do four more rotations. Just now that the spine is looser, we're gonna add those rotations in. I felt my foot rub on the floor. That means I'm losing my lower leg connection. Let's do three more and exhale, pull it back to center. Let's do two more. 
When I teach a class, I try to tell you relevant things as well. Exhale, pull it back. Recently, I put on my Instagram, don't go to the gym without your brain. Don't go and work out before your brain knows you did. Inhale, so this is all mind-body connection. Your brain is really telling the obliques and the multifidi to come back to center, okay? Great job. Now we're gonna take the ball and put it in between the feet, roll the shoulders back and down. Find that comfortable position. I've got to adjust it, okay? Roll the shoulders. We're gonna inhale, prepare. We're gonna exhale, lift. Just know that you can do this exercise with no mini ball at all. You can just do legs stacked one on top of the other. Exhale to lift. A small foam roller would be a good solution to this. Exhale, lift. And lower, keeping that head nice and neutral. Avoid your face being on your lower arm like this. I see that a lot. And you can actually hear the change in my sound of my voice when I rotate it, okay? And lower back down and exhale, we lift. Good. Now we had the option of continuing exactly like this or adding in the long arm. I use the long arm and the kickstand together. We're gonna inhale, prepare. We're gonna exhale. Both sides of the body, the upper and the lower, are coming together. It's laterally using those obliques. That means side bending, okay? Fancy name for side bending. And we're going to come up on that. I like to come up on the inhale, but if you feel you need the exhale, you can. And exhale as we lower it back down. Because I like to think about floating up on the inhale. Inhale as we float up, keeping the neck nice and long. Make sure the head's not down or straight up, okay? And exhale, lower back down to release. And we're going to do one more time. We're going to inhale, come up. And exhale, lower back down and to release. Nice job. Okay, we're going to roll to the back. Find the foot position where the feet are on the floor again, and we're gonna do two extensions. We're gonna inhale as we go up for extension. That's full or sphinx. And exhale, lower it back down. We're gonna do one more inhale. And I really liked that child's pose, a sliding up and down variation with the mini ball staying there to sit on basically. Okay, use your arms, press yourself up. Sit back into your child's pose and slide your body towards the ground. It really provides a seat. A bolster or a foam roller might work. A pillow might collapse, but you can be creative at home as we, I think, have been since the beginning of quarantine nine or ten months ago. Let's come up again. And exhale, slide it back down and press it down. Inhale. And then exhale, roll out of it one vertebrae at a time. Three, to articulation all the way through to your neutral. Stacking the spine up nice and tall. Now we're gonna sit down on our mat and do an ab series. Now, this mini ball, if you have it, bolster or foam roller, you can give it a shot. There are some videos of me using a foam roller here in my thoracic, on my Instagram, and on my YouTube just doing some rolling, right? So you can try with a foam roller. The issue with the foam roller might be it might slide and roll away from you. You might end up falling to the mat. But again, these exercises can be done on your back without the mini ball. And if you did have that band and you wanted a little extra option, you could put the band on for this variation. We're gonna have our hands behind our head. We're gonna inhale and here we're able to dip below the height of the ball, which brings you to a position that I call negative, negative one. You're below your surface, which you cannot do on the floor. Now exhale, we're gonna curl and flex. We're gonna focus on C-curving and scooping. You hear that word a lot, scooping and drawing up on your pelvic floor. So as you feel energy, flexing towards your thighs, you feel this whole scooped feel upward. Inhale, we lengthen back. Exhale, we flex and curl. Zipping up the abs, pelvic floor draws up like a string pulling up, like an elevator floor coming from the inside of your body up. 
We are doing two more. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, curl, flex. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, curl and flex. Adding on, we're gonna straighten out the left leg. We're gonna lean and stretch back away from the left leg. We're gonna look gently long, left elbow to the mat. We're gonna exhale, twist up and over to your right knee, okay? You can move the ball a little bit. Inhale, lean back, stretch back. And exhale, curl and flex. Moving the ball a lot would actually be very intense and you can go ahead and move it the amount that you can. Unless you move it too far and you end up with your elbow pointing to the opposite side of the room. Okay, we always wanna keep going towards our knee. Inhale, two more as we lengthen. Exhale, we twist. Okay, your hips are on the ground just in case. I don't want any elevation here. Last one, inhale and exhale. Good. Keeping a nice neutral pelvis, which means we're not caving our low back or scooping at this time. We're going to inhale, lean back. We're going to exhale, twist to the right knee as we raise our left leg up, still keeping our pelvis on the ground. Inhale, lean back, stretch back, left elbow to the opposite corner of the room. Exhale, twist. Okay. I'm actually looking just past the fireplace towards the back wall, if you can see where the closet starts. That's where I'm looking. I'm not looking up to the other side of the room. Okay, exhale. And we'll go one more. Inhale as we lean and stretch. Exhale as we curl, twist, and flex. And you're watching for all this. I cut a lot of mischievous behavior from this knee moving around. Try to keep that nice and stable but I will focus on that next time. Bend the knee, and that's how you can progress. Keep an eye on something, and then your next class, you work on it a little more intensely each time. We lengthen back. We did four without the gesturing leg, and just know that you could do all eight without the gesturing leg. Exhale. And exhale. And exhale. Here we add in the gesturing leg. Inhale, again, not up to the corner of the room. We're just, may I have a coffee table right here? I'm just looking gently there. Exhale, lift and rotate. I'm gonna keep an eye on this mischievous movement coming from my lower body here. And exhale to lift. And lower. Exhale. I've actually never taught this one and it is actually pretty challenging. I get a little clicking in my hip. I'm gonna to try to work deeper in my ab, a little slower in my range of motion. And yep, that nailed it. I did not get that clicking, but that was so much harder. So if you get the clicking, you gotta go deeper. But it is very hard for me to work deep when I am cueing, demoing, and talking at the same time. Which is why my Pilates workouts, when people say to me, you work out all the time, I don't, I demo all the time, it's quite different, okay? We're gonna take it back to center. We're gonna lift our body off that ball, grab it and roll down to the mat. We're gonna bring those legs into tabletop with the mini ball, again, optional. If you happen to have a big ball and you wanna put your feet on the big ball or your feet on this little ball, you can also do this. Why don't I show the modification first? If you don't have a ball, you would just have your legs in tabletop, okay? Now, we're gonna start with the legs straight and pointed. As you come in, you're gonna rotate to the right. Inhale, center. Usually, I flex when my legs are out. You're gonna maintain flexion this whole time. If you did need to rest down in between here, you can. That would be a modification. Now let's try the other side. And then instead of lowering, I'm gonna stay in flexion when I straighten my legs, which is extremely challenging. I love this variation. I think I'm gonna take it. 
but I am going to go ahead and give an intermediate to advanced variation for those of you I know need the challenge. So that is legs will be in tabletop. Margarita, I'm talking to you. You're gonna love doing the full. We're gonna stretch out and we're gonna exhale, rotate and flex in. Inhale, stretch out and exhale, rotate and flex in. Take it back to center and stretch out. Okay, let's quickly hug the knees into the chest. You know what you're doing now. You choose which one you want. I'm actually going to use the modification, which I feel is a beautiful intermediate exercise. But if you want the advanced version, please bring your legs into tabletop, unload it out in space, and it will be extremely challenging based on the tension of your legs. So let's get started. We're gonna do eight now. What I love about this for my legs on the floor, which I need, I need to open up my hips. So I love this variation. Let's get going. Let's twist and rotate center. Let's twist and rotate center. Good, let's twist and rotate center. We are doing eight. Exhale, we have a long way to go. <laughs> Exhale. Awesome, if the ball rolls into you because it's round and it rolls, move it away. Exhale, twist. And center, we're on three. Exhale, twist. Pulling in that belly button, that is key for flatter abs. I'm telling you, it's not about what you do, it's about how hard you pull. We are halfway there, guys. If you wanted to transfer to the easier one, which is not easy by the way, or the harder one, please dial up or down. Exhale, four. Exhale, four. Staying in flexion. If you needed a level one, like a beginner, lower down in between. We have two more on each side. You guys are working really hard on the other end. What's so unique is to flex on the end, which really fires the abs. We've got one more. Woo! One more. And again, you just watched me, the instructor, take the intermediate layer as opposed to the advanced, and I still felt every second of it. Choose which one is right for you. And in my old video, I have the leg in the air variation, but the flexion on the out, okay? Lower back down, <sighs> breathe. Now, curl the heels in to meet the butt and grab the ball behind the knees. We're gonna do a reverse ab. If you love to use your anchor, find something like your coffee table. Um, when Rocky's Crate is here, use that. Or your hands can be down by your sides if you've got gloves, which is your ankle weights, you can put on your gloves, an anchor, a kettlebell, whatever works for you. Today I'm gonna keep my hands down by my side. I'm gonna focus on small movement, like an accordion, bringing my hips to my ribs. Inhale, prepare. Exhale. And then return. It is a small lift, just enough to slide a piece of paper underneath the hips. Roll the shoulders back. Don't let the shoulders round forward. Keep the chin neutral with a gentle nod towards your chest. I really feel this one here. Exhale. And back to release, and I'm still in a, a gentle imprint on the release. I am pressing through my hands. I do find it essential to press through the pinkies to help me open up my shoulders. The work at the rib cage and the collarbone and the shoulder girdle is so intense. You don't have to pop up, pop down. If you do, guys, I'm just telling you, you're not using your abs. I'm trying to scoop and zip and pelvic floor like a string 
coming from my pubic bone to my nose. Roll the shoulders. Last one. Two more. Awesome. Let's just hug the knees into the chest. Take a nice big inhale and a nice big exhale. And here, you can keep holding that ball behind the knee. Relax the shoulders back and down and breathe. Take a nice big inhale, a nice big exhale. Since we have that ball, some of us do, let's go ahead and drop our knees to one side of the room and open our body into a T-shape. You just completed a pretty intense ab series. We're going to go into a bridge series next. And we're going to take it back to center and then twist to the other side. If twisting doesn't feel right to you, then please go ahead and just hug your knees into the chest and imprint the spine during this spinal twist. Take a nice big inhale, nice big exhale, and rotate those legs back to center. Good job. My favorite part is the bridge. Relax the shoulders. Breathe out. Bring in help repair, squeezing the mini ball, towel, whatever it is, bridge. We're gonna go up four, eight. Drop your hips like a karate chop. Exhale, seven. Exhale, six. Zipping up. Exhale, five. Exhale, four. Exhale, three. Breathe it. Nice job, guys. Up. And let's get deep into those glutes. Let's stay up and hold. And we're going to stay here. We're going to squeeze eight. Exhale, seven. Squeeze it, six. Fire those glutes. If you need your hips down, you can just do the squeezing part. Three. Exhale, two. Exhale, one. If you need a break, please roll your spine down and rejoin us into our bridge when you're ready. Otherwise, we're going to get into intermediate bridge with the ball. It's going to roll down and away from you each time. If you can't figure out how to do it with the ball, that is okay. Just take the ball and put it down and do intermediate bridge how you know. If you love the band, grab your band, put it on if you don't have a mini ball. Okay? No props, no problem, or props, great. Develop hey, in and up. The props are just to make variety for you and me so that we don't get bored each week. Now we're going to flex the right heel, lower it down to the height of the opposite butt. We're going to point and lift it. The ball will just migrate down. If it gets too low, pull it up. Flex and lower, point and lift. That's the song. Exhale, flex and lower, point and lift. Flex and lower, point and lift. And we have another set. If you need a break, take one. Exhale, flex and lower. I tend to do eight of these. Point and lift if eight is too many. Traditionally, it's three, but I like endurance, so you can rest. And lift. I'm losing my ball, so I'm going to show you. I just pulled it right back up. Two more. Flex and lower. Point and lift. Last time, flex and lower. Point and lift. Hold here. We pulse. If pulses are too much for you, take a rest. Pulse eight, exhale seven, exhale six, straight knee, point toe, four, exhale three, exhale two, exhale one, hold, inhale, undevelop, hey, that leg, toe, ball, heel, back down, get to two legs, <sighs> the prayer emoji on your phone. The blue sleeves, the hands here. We are so happy to be back on two legs after unilateral work. Move that ball to where it's comfortable. Okay, hands down by your sides. If you needed a break, you rolled down. If you didn't, you're still up. Okay, we're ready. Develop hey, in and up. We're exhale, flex and lower, point and lift. We're exhale, flex and lower, point and lift. We're exhale, flex and lower. Point and lift. We're exhale, flex and lower. Point and lift. Flex and lower. Point and lift. 
the ball gets away, move it in, flex and lower, point and lift, flex and lower, point and lift, point and lift, that's how I sing it if I'm really doing it, point and lift, lift, hold, pulse, eight, exhale, seven, six, remember you could have taken a break here, join us when you're ready, no pulses if it's too hard for you, two and one we want a nice firm long leg like a ballet dancer undevelop hey that leg toe ball heel back down get to two legs and hold <sighs> if you want more of an advanced workout arms up to the ceiling we're holding that pull the ball where it's comfortable we're going to pulse one more time pulse eight exhale seven on two legs remember ha four Three, squeeze, two, squeeze, one, hold, inhale. And I think during home workouts, my favorite thing is a roll up. Some of you hate it, some of you love it, but we're gonna do two. Inhale, arms over, chest up, nod your chin. Curl and flex, the more you do them, I think they will get better. I have an old herniated disc and they actually help me, but you have to be ready for when you start them. If you get extreme pain, don't do them. Just do the half roll up. It stops right here. If you need your hands behind the head, you could take that. And that chin curl flex, roll up around the shape for your feet. Inhale, start rolling back and exhale, finish, finish. Rolling down and hold. Nice job, relax the shoulders back and down. And now coming into some side variations, we're gonna hold the ball behind the knee again, optional. We're gonna do an exercise today called threading the needle figure eight infinity. I call it three different things. We're gonna tip our knee towards one, the other, the bottom one, and then we're gonna externally rotate it. Now I want you to think of a needle going in to fabric and then pulling that needle back out. Do not hip flex, please. We don't need it here. We wanna keep it into the glute, inner thigh, external rotation. Of course, this can be done all the way down. Up here, it is going to be more challenging. You wanna add the band. That's why I left the band out. I'm probably not gonna use it today, but you could put your band around your thighs. So you'd have to try and see what works for you. So we're gonna thread in. Do you see how my, my heel's coming up? And I'm gonna thread out. I'm gonna use my arm gesturing just to show you because they're both ball and socket joints, they both can do this rotation, but you don't have to, okay? Kick stand hand if you want to. In to out, keep that neck nice and long. And then we're going in to out and up, okay? Watch for hip flexing, in to out. I call it thread the needle or I call it infinity down and up and hold. Remember, you can be all the way down for that and the band would be a great option for you. And a lot of you have the bands because you've been working out at home with me now for 12 or 13 weeks. Okay, now we're gonna bring that leg in front and exhale, we're gonna kick that leg behind, okay? If you don't know where to put the hand, roll the shoulder back right on the stomach because then you can see if you're tightening your abs coming into front, don't drop the knee. We're gonna exhale, extend the leg behind. Good, inhale, leg in front, glide that shoulder back and down. If you are feeling like this on your shoulder, it's the wrong variation for you, you should be all the way down, okay? You should feel strong in your shoulder, head is neutral to that shoulder, it's not on top, and honestly, when I do that, it hurts my neck, okay? Inhale, four more, exhale, leg behind. This is my in my workout from years ago. And exhale, this variation. I don't think the figure eight, just the clam was in. But today I taught the figure eight. I watched that video to give you a new variety this time around, and the class is slightly different. Okay, and if you need to go up for this part and then down when you've been up too long, please bring it down a layer, okay? Now hold it, pulse, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One more variation. If you need a break, just lie down and rest. 
Otherwise, we're going down and up, the whole foot in the area, down to the ground and up. We're still squared at the hips, down and up. <sighs> Firing through that inner thigh, that crease of the hip. And lift, you want it harder, it's up here. It's down and lift, down and lift. Feel the connection through the scapula, down and lift and down and lift and hold. Beautiful. We're gonna take that ball out. We're gonna come up into a mermaid position, relaxing the shoulders back and down. We're gonna hold our arms out. We're gonna tip over. We're gonna rotate towards that arm. We're gonna come back out that diagonal line and we're gonna exhale, come back up to neutral. We're gonna do it again. Tip over, use those obliques. Rotate down, good. Back up, if you wanna look at it, you can, or center for neutral, depends on how your neck feels in those positions. Okay, two more. Side bend, rotate. I kinda like following the ball, but that is up to you. And back to center. One more time, side bend, rotate, back to center, and return. Awesome. We're gonna do a set of push-ups. Keep it intermediate, ball between. I'm gonna do them off my knees, but you're welcome to do them off your toes. Hands need to be wider than your mat here. We're gonna inhale, exhale, press it up. Squeeze those glutes. Inhale, exhale, press it up. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, exhale, press it up. Toes stay down, glue to the ground. Inhale, exhale, push it up. I am looking for four more. If you need a break, you're in child's pose. Ready, inhale, exhale, press it up. Inhale, exhale, press it up. <sighs> Two more, inhale and. <sighs> nice job, one more time. Inhale and exhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Child's pose. Press yourself back into your child's pose. Hold it here. Breathe it out, pressing down into the arms. The next one we're going to do is called the Madonna stretch. Put the palms of the hands together. Prayer position. You're going to pray and press. Okay, I'm not religious, just spiritual. It's just the idea of, I actually call it Madonna like a prayer. You're going to stay here and push your elbows into the ground for four, three, two, and one. Notice that I'm not at the nape of the neck. I'm right over my head like Charlie's angels when they make that gun shape with their fingers. Okay, And then take it back out. Press the arms into the ground. My arms straighten as best as they can, but I keep my head on the mat. And if you need a pillow in order to keep your head down, Please prop a pillow underneath your forehead. Let's do one more. Let's press the elbows into the ground, bend them. Bend the elbows towards right angle flexion, and then push the elbows into the ground, which fires and separates all through the scapula, and then straighten out those arms. Really, really reach, press the arms into the ground. I do these every single workout with every single client in my small groups online. Now from here, separate the hands and then roll out of it. And you are gonna get two more Madonnas on the other side. So let's set up on the other side. We put the mini ball behind the knee, holding here, slight bend in the knee, okay? In my other video, it's just a clam. But here, we're threading the needle down, soft bend. I don't want you really short here. We wanna open here. So we're going down, and up. Remember the shoulder can go. Okay, I like to have my legs a little bit away from me, but I like to have them match being away from me. Down and up. Good. Once you know you're neutral, just keep your head neutral. If I look at the camera, I'm looking down. Okay, so I'm looking just slightly ahead of the camera. And you can put a mirror right here if you want to. Down and up. This side's harder for me. Down and up. Really encouraging that internal rotation. Good. 
internally rotate and up. Nice guys, internally rotate and up. All right, so now from here, flex in to extend. Rib cage in to extend. Good, in and extend. In and extend. Awesome, guys, it's so good to my hip, I can't even touch. Just watch for internal rotation when you extend. Don't let your hip go forward. Remember, you can have your hand here, hand here, hand here. In and extend, but I'm still trying to connect into my scapula. In and extend. Nice job, guys. In and extend. Really feeling. If you see my eyes moving all around, because I'm really trying to think about where my body is in space, hold it right here and we pulse it eight. Or if I close my eyes, I'm going deeper into the muscle, trying to envision where my muscles are. I've seen so many anatomy books that I know what they look like. Hold. If you need a break or you need to be all the way down or you're ouchy in your shoulder, please lie all the way down. This is an intermediate class, so we're up, okay? But down and up. But if you're new to class, lie all the way down. Make sure that leg stays behind the hip my foot, I can feel it touching the hallway, down and up. That's, that means my leg is behind me because I'm set up in front of my hallway. I'm not setting up in flexion. Down and up. If your neck gets tired, you can hold it. That's techniques that hopefully are building each week as you start again over and over again from week one and take them all ahead of you and you will have the variations down for you. We'll lower that leg down. That was pretty intense. We're gonna go into that mermaid stretch. I love this exercise, it's brand new. I've actually never taught it before. We're gonna side bend. Rotate, inhale, exhale. can be done with a four breath pattern, but I'm just teaching it with a two breath pattern right now. Good guys. I'm bringing those hands together like a prayer. Pull it in, press down, three, four, and straighten. Keep the head down on the ground. All right, guys, so we're gonna do some plank variations. I'm gonna move to my hardwood floor because I get better traction than a rug. And if you have your yoga mat, you might be fine. Some people like to move their yoga mat. So we're gonna come here for double knee stretch and we're gonna add in rotation. So we're gonna double knee stretch, add rotation of the hips and slight knee, and then we're gonna pull back and press back to center. We're gonna really focus on squeezing your glutes. If you have a band, this is a great time to use a band. Rotate and press back. And then pull yourself back to plank. Good. Rotate and press. Pull back to plank. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the ball. Fitness circle would work really nice here. Or band. Bend. Really working in those lats. And press. Keep going. Bend. And press. Bend and press now pausing at the halfway mark either for a child's pose or a downward facing dog what i love about the ball or the fitness circle is that it really allows me to pull my heels towards the earth which i'm tightening my calf and my achilles Relax the shoulders back and down. Press through the heel of the hands and hold. 
breathe. Awesome. And then take it back to center, hold. Awesome, four more, start with the other side. We rotate, pull. You hear my breathing on that. I needed it. Child's pose or downward facing dog. It is up to you. Really getting those heels to the ground. Slightly bending the knees if you need to. Keeping that neck nice and neutral. We hold and breathe. Breathe it out. One. Breathe it out. Two. Breathe it out. Three. Pressing those heels. Now you're in child's pose if you need a break. All right. And rest. Now we're going to do an ab exercise where we walk our feet. You can keep the ball or get rid of it to our hands and then mini walks out. I did these last week, guys, three more times. I did it with maybe the band on last week. Whew. Wow. I find these to be extremely hard. Two more. They remind me of elephant on the reformer. U shape, U shape. Press those heels down as soon as you can. Breathe it out. Nice. We're going to go with one more. You hear my heart right? So who says Pilates is in cardio? My Pilates, in my opinion, is. And then take it back out. It's a minimal cardio. I'm about to lose the ball. I'm going to do my best to keep it. And I did. But you can see I barely have it. Child's pose or downward facing dog. Your choice. Whew. Grab that ball. I knew I was going to lose it when I transitioned but I was prepared, ready to go. Hold it out, so I'm not even gonna edit that out, I'm gonna leave it in because things happen, and hey, go grab that ball. Breathe it, hold, bend the knees and press. You have your choice, child's pose, bend the knees or press. Good, bend the knees or press, hold. Dropping to the knees, sitting back into that child's pose. Hold, breathe it out. And move it out. Now, if you move to hardwood floor, we're gonna come back to the mat and we're gonna do a little bit of glute work on all fours or forearms. Okay, so position number one. Position number one is back foot on the floor and position number two is lift the foot to elevation to balance. Without the back foot help, okay? We're gonna exhale, lift and lower. Okay, once I feel stable, I'm gonna go ahead and balance and lift. Let's focus on this today. Make sure this leg isn't um, falling. I say losing your bottom leg. Okay, keep it in. Okay, hold here. Let's flex it on the curl it in. Point it out. Curl it in. Point it out. Curl it in. Point it out. One in one. We lower, we lift, we curl, we point. Lower, lift, curl, point. Lower, watch for the bottom knee moving across the midline. Curl, flex and point. This is really hard. I'm not even having trouble with my variation. Lift, flex, in, and down, pulse it eight, seven, six, five, breathe, toe down if you need four, three, I'm dying, two, one, I couldn't even, couldn't even finish. 
Oh my gosh. Take that ball, thread it through, and stretch. Slide the opposite arm out and hold. Breathe. Nice. Draw that arm in. Push it up and hold. Let's do a quick child's pose. Oh my God, that was so intense. That pulse was so intense. <laughs> hold it here. And then roll out of it. Mm. Wow, that was tough. I think the whole class is really beautiful and really tough. And I hope you like it. Roll the shoulders back and down. Remember that toe can be down. That is your stable base. No ball is optional too. Okay, so we're ready to go here. We did lift and lower. Four. Three. Two. And one. Stay here. We flex it in. Point it out. Flex it in, point it out. Two more. Flex it in, point it out. Flex it in, point it out. Then we lowered, then one of each. Up, in, out, down. Lift, flex, out, down. Straight knee, up, flex, out, down, one more, up, flex, out, and we lower, then we lift it, we pulsed it, eight, seven, six, five, breathe it, four, three, two, one, four, that was so hard. I'm dying. Okay, I'm dying for my own work. We're going to do our thread the needle. <sighs> Slide it out. Good. Breathe it. <clears throat> now we'll take that arm in. We're going to press yourself up to all fours and then back into child's pose. Good. I'm going to roll it up around its shape and coming into our final stretches. Now, this is so optional, guys. This is going to be a little bit of a harder cool down, but you can do all these variations without the mini ball. Mini ball is going to come underneath the low back. You can also use a foam roller or a bolster. You can also use your hands, which I have currently on my Instagram. But this is gonna be a little bit of an inversion stretch. Let's stay here with the ball. Let's gently imprint, rock the pelvis into an imprint and see if you can roll the shoulders to the ground. Back and down. Three, four. Let's try the other direction. Four. Now notice when I try to work out, I try to look neutral and not at the camera. So that is a style of tablet training that I had to learn. When I'm not doing a variation, I look, but when I am doing a strength training exercise, I try to zone out. Okay, so the next one can be full inversion, okay? If you cannot do the full inversion here, you can go ahead and rest your hips down and just hug your knees into the chest, okay? So your first layer is, Hug your right knee in, straighten your left leg down. Now what that's gonna do is create this arc shape through your spine and just gently hold your shin. Try not to hold your kneecap, you can, you can hold under, okay? But I get a better stretch in my hip when I hold on the shin, mid shin. And I learned that from some physical therapists I follow on YouTube. Relax the shoulders. And I'm really pressing this thigh down. Now, before we change sides, so you would be literally doing this exact same thing, minus the ball, sans ball. Just flat on your back and you will feel a stretch. Now from here, slowly I'm gonna bring both knees into the chest. And by tucking in, this is helping tilt me. By the way, if you happen to have a barrel at home, you can use a barrel as well. Hold it here. 
tucking both in. Getting a nice deep stretch in my low back. Then from here, I'm gonna straighten out the opposite leg and hold this one in. This is the one I really need. This is the hip that gets super tight. Um, it gets tight based on an injury that I had in my low back. So roll that shoulder back and down, hold it in, breathe. So what I call full inversion might be different in the yoga world, but I mean that your hips are gonna be elevated and then you're hugging your knees into the chest. I feel a little shift, just make sure you're neutral. Again, you can use the foam roller, you can use your hands or a yoga block would work also. Barrel, bolster, those things. The next one, you might be too tight in your quad or your knee to do. I'm gonna keep working my foot tucked underneath my glute. Again, you can use your hands, a foam roller, or you can just be lying on your side for this. So you could take that ball out, I'll show you quickly, and you could be just doing a quad stretch. Okay. But if you have the mini ball, or you have a bolster, you have a yoga block, and you want to do the full, slowly tuck. If you get pain in your knee, it is too deep of knee flexion. Your quad is too tight, your IT band might be too tight, and it will really tug at your actual kneecap. If you're feeling knee pain, this isn't worth it. That type of pain isn't like, yeah, no pain, no gain. Okay, that's like thumbs down. That's like not bringing your mind to the gym, bringing your brain to the gym. So if you feel a stretch like I do, inner groin, all the way down the quad, you are fine. If you feel pain at your knee, this is too far. You're lying on your side and just doing a quad stretch, pulling this foot behind you, the other one slightly bent. Okay, let's try the other side. Okay, hug in, tuck in. Take a moment to get to the right position. Whoo, don't fall off the ball. <laughs> stretch. Excellent. And then returning that. Relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. Now I'm going to give as your next one a shoulder bridge or allow you to do a wheel. Wheels when your hands are behind your head and then you push all the way off the ground. I am not in the shape I'd like to be for that variation and it's gonna really mess up my bun. So you'd go up there and press all the way into your wheel. Okay, for those of you who know, I'm talking to some of you who take my class regularly. If you cannot do that version, I'm not doing that version today. Put the mini ball between your knees, stack your hands underneath you, roll the shoulders back and down, and hold. We're gonna hold and hold and hold and hold. A shoulder bridge can feel like a wheel. Hold and hold and hold and hold. If you wanna deepen this, take your hands, place them to your lumbar spine, and arch. Now this one is a great one for me and I can gently lift my neck. This inversion position is also on my Instagram. Again, I went to look at you guys, but don't look when you are in these extreme positions to the tablet. You gotta look, see what I'm doing, and then join me if you're not sure. I'm also massaging my sacrum with my thumbs right now. Okay, so you're either doing a couple of wheels, you're probably in two or three with wheel. Take a break when you need. When I really pull my abs in with that exhalation, wow, felt a great stretch. Okay, now we're gonna tuck under, slowly roll your spine down to the mat. Roll the shoulders back and down. All right, guys, so I really appreciate you guys working out with me. I try to film two workouts a month for the HealthWorks virtual class. If you are interested in personal training, you can reach out to me, DM me on Instagram, phillondon at gmail.com. You can email me if you have questions. If you want to film your exercises and send them for some corrections, I'm happy to do that. If you want to do some training sessions with me, in the winter, just get in touch with me and I can tell you what options we have. Otherwise, we'll meet right here on the mat and twice a month and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next workout.